The world of predictive analytics continues to grow, and artificial intelligence firm C3AI helps companies incorporate that technology into their business models. The company recently reported earnings showing a 38% bump in sales year over year, thanks to some key contracts with the likes of the Department of Defense. Let's bring in CEO Tom Siebel for more on this. Tom, great to have you on the program this Friday. I just want to start off by asking you to kind of walk us through the stock movements in your company. Uh, a pretty big drop, about 17% initially yesterday, but we've seen basically a rebound all the way back up. I mean, is what your company doing here? Is the messaging getting across to investors? What do you think happened there? Well, I think the markets are pretty twitchy right now. And there's, you know, there's a great deal of volatility out there. And uh, I think there the market is reacting to kind of overall macro issues that are you know, a little bit disturbing, okay, in Europe and in America. That being said, you know, at C3, we have a very rapidly growing business. We're addressing in enterprise AI, a, you know, $600 billion addressable market. We're the world's leading provider of enterprise AI software. We're running a, today a, roughly a quarter of a billion dollar business, growing at roughly a 40% compound annual growth rate. We have a billion dollars cash in the bank, and we're focused on establishing a market leadership position in the market. So um, at C3 AI, things are looking pretty good. The markets, you know, the markets will take care of themselves. That's really not my primary focus. <laughs> And why markets do anything on any given day is always a hard thing to back into. But uh, what you've been saying is underscored by the fact that you had a 48% year-over-year increase in the amount of customers that you had. So it seems like SaaS, right, software as a service, is very much in a different type of macroeconomic story than perhaps retailers and other types of consumer-facing companies that we're familiar with. What do you see on your side as the demand for your services, which at C3AI is really predictive analytics and AI? We're, we're using pr predictive analytics at kind of massive commercial, industrial, and government scale to lower costs, supply network risk, supply chain optimization, demand forecasting, AI-enabled CRM, uh, fraud detection. At companies like Shell, uh, the economic benefit this year from the use of C3 is $2 billion. Lionel Bissell, $1 billion. When we get into the Department of the Air Force, it probably exceeds a billion dollars. So this is about uh, delivering you know, products at lower cost into the hands of more satisfied consumers. We're dealing with you know, very, very, we're solving these very, very troubling uh, supply network risk problems, uh, dealing with um, you know, very large clean energy systems and allowing large oil and gas companies to reinvent themselves as renewable energy companies. So this is all about cost savings. It's about a cleaner environment. It's about safer, cleaner, more reliable energy. It's about a, you know, more uh, effective uh, military. So this is, you know, I think no matter what happens uh, in the in the macro markets in the next two or three years, it looks like uh, we're looking at tailwinds. I want to ask about capital expenditures because you have probably have a very good vantage point on this because you're teaming up with these companies that want to maybe go into these ambitious projects, want to use AI to kind of assess how things go, and that does indeed cost money. In this rising rate environment, we've heard te large tech companies specifically say, they're going to start to cut back on some of that capex to kind of kind of bunker down if there is a recession around the corner. Are you seeing the impact of that? Do you get that feeling based off of the conversations you have with some of your clients? I know defense is going to be a little bit different than private. Well, we're, we're very active in a number of growing market segments. About 50% of our business is helping the large oil and gas companies and chemical companies reinvent themselves. And, you know, with oil in excess of $100 a barrel, you could imagine, um, you know, the investments in that market are quite large. Um, you know, what we're doing in the defense and intelligence communities, that's, that's growing. I think these issues associated with supply network risk uh, are existential issues. So I think that if, should we hit a recession in Europe and in the United States, I think all spending will be cut. We're seeing it in ad dollars being cut. Um, you know, see kind of Snapchat for details. Uh, but uh, I think these investments in predictive analytics are likely to continue to increase. All right. No slowing for right now. C3AI CEO Tom Siebel, thanks for stopping by the show. Really appreciate it.